everyone, my name is Alyssa and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, we do not have my usual happy planner in front of me. Um, this is a notebook that I got from Barnes & Noble on clearance, actually. Um, it's like a journal, just lined notebook pages. And I posted a picture earlier today on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and go follow me at Taylor Lee Planning. And it was of this avocado washi tape that I have that I have never used before because I have no use for it. Um, there has never been a time in my spread where I was like, hmm, this needs avocado washi tape. So um, I have a pretty good guacamole recipe, if I do say so myself. Um, and I would like to share it with you and also start my little like recipe book because I've never really written down recipes. I don't cook a whole lot but um you know if it goes well I usually try to keep track of it and it really sucks to have to find a recipe that I made before on the internet or something um but yeah so I plan on turning this into a recipe book for myself um yeah using this washi tape as inspiration. So I printed a couple pictures off of the internet because I've made this thousands of times, but I've never taken a picture of it. This is not a picture of my guacamole recipe, but it's the closest one I could find because um, I did not get this recipe off of the internet. It's actually one of my family friend's recipes that she passed on to me. And um, it's usually a hit at like parties and get togethers and stuff. Um, so yeah. I've got three different sizes because I'm not quite sure how big I want it to be, but I know I want to include pictures as I'm putting these out. Um, this is a pretty short recipe, so I think I'm just going to use one page. Who knows, if I keep doing this, maybe I'll like section it and have like a whole thing. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is kind of section off how I want this to look. Um, so I'm going to like draw out in pencil a little box and where I'm going to write in the title and where I'm going to put the picture um, and like the directions and all that so I'm going to do that real quick. Okay so I have my very crudely drawn pencil sketch of how I want this to go. I decided I'm going to put the picture up here and then a little header um, and then ingredients list, directions, and prep and cook time maybe? Well there's not really cook time actually so let me go ahead and erase that. That was just a spur of the moment kind of thing. Um, I want it to look similar to the actual Happy Planner recipe pages, if y'all have seen those recipe books or in other recipe plan with me's. Um, so that's kind of what I'm going for. So I think I'm going to use the smallest size. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. Um, I really wish I had one of those super cool uh, paper trimmers that all the Happy Planner people seem to have because those are super neat and make everything so much faster. Use my dinky little scissors. Okay, and I also want to do... I want to put like some cardstock behind it. Um, I pulled a lot of different options because I didn't really know. Sorry, I'm making a ruckus over here. Um, this, I don't think I'm going to use this one because it just feels like a lot of green. Yeah, that's way too much. Um, you know, I pulled it. We tried it. Now, I think I'm going to end up using this yellow. Maybe not here, but I definitely want to do the ingredients list as like a long box. Uh, I have a plan for that. I will show you in a bit. I'm not sure how much I like it with the guac so maybe I'll try a color that doesn't really look like it would fit with it, like this super light blue. Mm. I think I'm going to use this one actually, so let me go ahead and cut that. Okay, and it wasn't going to be that noticeable anyway, I just wanted something to go behind it, so it was like a little, a little bit different. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue these together and then we'll jump into the other stuff. Okay, 
Um, I did this and then I went ahead and also made this yellow box sort of thing. Um, and I'm going to use it as the ingredients list down here. Uh, I think I like how these two look together. I think that's pretty good, if I do say so myself. Um, I think I'm going to... Oh no, where'd it go? I lost the entire point of this thing. Where did I put it? You guys, I can't find the, the avocado washing. This is an emergency. Oh, okay. Found it. We're good. False alarm. Everybody calm down. Um, and I think I want to put it on the bottom here. I'm not entirely sure I love that, but, you know, I think it'll be okay. And then I can take a box from Colorful Boxes and put it, like, over here to do the prep time. And I think that'll be good. I still don't know how I'm going to do the directions. I think what I... Also, this is curling and it's making me really upset. Um, <laughs> I think... Hmm. What do I do? I might end up making another box. Or I might just do a border and then uh, keep the lines. Hmm. How about... First thing, I just glue these in place on the page. So let me do that. All right, so I glued this stuff down and it's looking okay. <laughs> um, I think what I'm gonna do for the directions is take, just take a black pen and draw a square box thing um, because I was gonna just use a black box, like from Colorful Boxes, and but obviously, how did I not realize this? But um, the box would not be big enough. As you can see, it's just the same size as the ingredients. So that would not work. So I'm just gonna draw a box here, and we'll see how this goes. Okay, box. Done. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and erase a couple of these lines. Try not to get too close to the pen because it will streak if we don't let it dry. Oh no, I bent the hell out of the page. Let's try to compensate a little bit. It's a little better, I think. Okay. my luck. Okay, I'm gonna stop touching things before I make it worse. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna get it over here. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna do for right now. Um, and then I want to, what do I want to do here? Uh, let me get a box for the, or no, 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 let's do the avocado washi, because that's the whole reason we're doing this. Okay, I want to do it, like, here on the bottom. This looks crazy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, am I going to be able to rip it? without it looking terrible. Who knows? Oh, the answer is no. Uh, okay, let me try again. Oh, stop rolling away. Okay. I'm just gonna take my scissors. Get it. Do I want it to go? I think I want to go all the way across, even though most of this has some sort of margin. I think I'm gonna do it like this. Try not to cut my finger though, that would be great. Wow. Alright. And click. Now the other side is gonna be the problem. 
because I can't quite. Oh, sorry for that beeping. That's our air fryer. It is lunchtime. So, what can you do? Okay, I think that's fine. This is looking a little odd, but we're working through it. It's okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a couple of boxes and see if I can find, I think I'm gonna do a black box just cause that'll be the easiest. Unless I do a green one, but there's a lot of green happening. You know what, I'm gonna use a green one because who cares? <laughs> Um, do I want to use the light one? Uh, I think this one looks pretty guacky, wouldn't you say? Anybody? <laughs> oh, shoot. And I'll put it, like, um, you can see the washi through the box. Hmm. Why did I not expect that? <laughs> maybe I can put it here is that weird? that might be a little too weird for me uh okay maybe if I like do a little layering type thing here I think that looks fine it doesn't bother me too too much that the washi shows through. What is bothering me though is that these corners are not sticking. <laughs> I really want one of those little like tape roller things. Um, I'm gonna have to look for one. Okay and now I need to decide how I want to put the um, title of the recipe at the top. So I have two options both from the giant pastel book. Um, I'm, ooh, let me not put it on top of the pen. Okay, so I'm thinking either I want to use this little banner here, or I want to use the, like, watercolor paint streak at the bottom. Um, I'm kind of leaning more towards just the little banner. Uh, you know what, yeah, let's, let's at least put it on there and see how I feel. I think I'm liking it. I just want to put it a little lower than I drew originally. Let's do like that. Yes. Question mark. That's a little crooked. Let me fix that. Yes, and then I'm going to put some kind of stickers up at the top above it. I think I might have, I might know of an, an avocado sticker. So I'm going to take a look in the Planner Basics book. This is my oldest sticker book. This is the first one I ever got. Um, and it's quite janky. All the pages are falling out, so I have a little ring around the top so it doesn't, like, just shatter and do a million pieces. Um, and I think there's some food stickers in here. There's a couple. Coffee, checklist. No, no, no. Ah, ha, ha, ha. There we go. Yeah, there's a bunch of avocados in here. I've already used a couple. Um, so I think I'm going to put one with a pit at the top like that and then another one without a pit maybe like layered on it a little does that look crazy a little bit. I think I want to put it over there actually. So let me see if I can group them up. Okay. And I want the pitted one on the bottom. 
I'm trying my best not to touch the pen because I don't want it to get everywhere because this spread already looks like kind of a mess. Um, come on. And I'm gonna do like that, I think. Sure. There's a little bit of excess on the top that I'm gonna chop off. Come on. I'm, I'm actually gonna cut my finger off this video and you all will witness it. It looks pretty okay. Um, page is still curling and it's still making me upset, <laughs> but we're gonna get through it. We're gonna make this happen and it's gonna be great. Um, I think the pen should be dry now. This is dangerous what I'm doing here. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase very carefully <laughs> and I think after that, we're all good. So, I really need this page to stop defying me. <laughs> okay, um, now I'm gonna start writing in the ingredients and stuff. Okay, so I pulled some more of these little banners. Um, I just had two of them, but I think they'll be good because I can do the directions here and then the ingredients. So I'm just going to put this there. Now, I'm not sure if I like that with it right next to the banner that looks exactly the same. Okay, so changing my mind, I'm going to find something different to use. Let's look in here because I did see this little green banner, because exactly what this spread needs is more green. Um, but I don't know what else to use. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I like that little banner, but I don't think it's going to work if I just have one of them. I'm not sure there's any other blank little header things in this sticker book. Hmm. That's not gonna work. Okay, let's just use some of the tiny colorful boxes then. Uh, like the green one. Just gonna use a couple of these. So I'm gonna do like the top. And the side here. Yep. Okay. So now I'm gonna start if I can find the paper. Oh jeez, sorry everyone. Um okay, so I wrote down the ingredients and stuff so I wouldn't forget them. And I think I'm just gonna start writing now. So yeah. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to get some bullet points for the ingredients. I know there's a giant page of bullet points in here. Here we go. So I'm going to use these green ones. Um, I'm sure you're not surprised. <laughs> But, yeah, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so that's all the ingredients. 
I think that looks okay. This is starting to kind of look like a child's art project, <laughs> but um, I'm not too upset at that. I think it looks okay. I think I started slowly veering to the left in the camera, but we're getting through this. It's gonna look just fine. So I have an idea. I'm not sure exactly what I wanna do, so. Okay, so I think for the steps and the directions, I'm gonna use these little um, square numbers from this Agenda 52 sticker book. So um, I don't have to write the numbers because the less I have to write, the better. The recipe is super minimal. Um, basically, it's just prepare all the ingredients as indicated. The avocados go in first um, so you can get started on mashing them and then you put all the ingredients together in a big bowl and mash them together. I usually use a fork or actually a potato masher works really well. Um, so I use things like that and then uh, you're going to put in the lime juice, the cumin, and the salt in last and then mix it together until all of the avocados are decently mashed. So that is my entire recipe. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I want to add here. I kind of want to put some kind of like love it or something in here. So I think I'm going to use this treat yourself thing also in the planner basic sticker book. Um, this is just one I have nearby. <laughs> so it's, it's working out for me pretty well. I think I want to put it I kind of want to put it on the top there, but I feel like it's it's going to get cut off if I do that. I want to put something here though, but I think I'm just going to put this like... Um, maybe right here. Yeah, I'll do that. And then I'm going to keep looking for something to go there. I think I'm just going to use this Yas thing. I hate this phrase. I don't like that it's, uh, I don't know, but it's all I found. So <laughs> that's what we're going to use. And I'm going to kind of put it on top of that a little. And then, oh no, things are falling. Okay, do I like that? I don't think I do. Crap. This is proving to be really difficult. If I do like... Hmm. Here, maybe? No, I'm gonna look for something else. Okay, okay. We're trying. <sighs> I'm gonna find something, guys. We're gonna get there. Ooh, I know what I'm gonna do. Okay. Uh, in this little sticker book, I think I got it from Walmart or something, there's little letters. And I'm just gonna do like yum or something. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So, these are so tiny. Where did I put my tweezers? You guys, I am so disorganized right now. Okay. Oof. This one is biting me. Okay, come on. Okay. I'm at, oh geez. It's just so thin and frail. that I have to put it on with the tweezers, but it's so weird. Okay. It's like that. Scoop that one over. Okay. You know what? This 
this is how we're gonna leave it. So the page is still curling because it doesn't like me and I put this box on way too tight. Um, these corners are still sticking up. There's pen marks all over the place. It's very green and in your face, but I did it. So we're here. Um, my guacamole recipe, I think it is nice because I was not a huge fan of guacamole before I made this recipe just because a lot of them would put things like cayenne pepper and like jalapenos in them. And I know a lot of people like that stuff, but I am super not into anything spicy. Like black pepper is almost too spicy for me. So it just gets, you know, I like this recipe because it's not spicy. It just has a little bit of the flavor kick with the cumin. So yeah, this is my recipe. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and let me know if you did uh, and I could do some of these in the future. I'm not super happy with how this turned out, but I think it was really fun to try um, and this will be fun to look back on and use in the future. Um, so yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to leave a like if you did like this video and subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me in the future. Um, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Taylor Lee Planning for extra content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!